gentleman, painter, burlesque performer, and drag performer. I started painting when I was about like five or six, and it was like simple little like you know, painting stuff, and I thought it was fun, I just kept doing it forever. Yeah, when I had to go to college, I felt like, like that was the only thing that made sense. Like, what am I, I going to do? Well, this painting was inspired by Crazy Horse Cabaret and their cabaret in Paris. In the video that I saw, their performance, they had like a couch and it was a lipstick couch. And like one girl would come out and dance on it and another girl would leave and another one would come. And I thought it was so cute, but like, I wanted to make it like gay and like switch it up. So like, I did this. Like their hair and like their, their pasties and like their gloves and like this was like very like crazy horse cabaret. So this painting is like one of my favorite paintings and it was inspired by Candy Darling and I have a picture of her back there and she's like the reason I named myself Candy and I'm really inspired by her and she was one of the girls for the Andy Warhol one of the Andy Warhol girls and along with Jackie Curtis and Holly Woodlawn and I got really into that and like Blue Reed and this is basically how I feel most of the time after every show. <laughs> My oldest painting from all of these and this one is probably like five or six years old and I feel like you could tell I like, like, shot my stuff. But yeah, this is a very old one. Dragon Burlesque was really scary and intimidating at first. But I started off doing burlesque when I got approached by an owner who had a bar and had a burlesque troupe and he was like, would you be down to join? And at first I was like, no, like why would I do that? Whatever, like I ignored him and like months went on and then um, I was going to go see my favorite drag queen, Violet Tchotchke, and I was going to go see her with one of my best friends and she was performing at a burlesque show and before that, like I knew about burlesque but I didn't really care. And then when, after I saw her and I saw like the whole show, I was just like really inspired. And I was like, you know, I think I should do burlesque. And then I got back to that guy and I was like, hey, like, I'm down to do burlesque with you. And then there I was in a troupe with some girl. It didn't work out at all, but I started over with like my friends and now we have Mala Vida Burlesque. The main founders is four of us, which is me, Gabby, Lolita, and Troy and we're a queer less true. So if you're fucking us, you know what you're fucking <laughs> I don't have a favorite song to perform to, but I feel like I probably have like a, a favorite genre to perform to. And I really liked performing 1920s to 1940s stuff. I don't know, I really like like that vintage Hollywood glamour. Also, I really like performing to Amy Winehouse and Kalu Cheese. My favorite part of burlesque and drag is just dressing up and being super extra and super glamorous and sparkly and feathers and big hair. I just love looking like this. My advice for anybody wanting to start burlesque or drag would be to go get into the scene first. You know, like go to shows, get to know people, get to see what it's about, talk to people, and just make your way. People can see my art on my Instagram. People can see my performances also on my Instagram. Or just also with my Navidad's Instagram. You can keep up with our shows. I also post all the flyers on my Instagram of where I'll be performing. It's always different. If there's something that I would want people to take out of my art, it would be, I don't know, just be yourself. I do what makes you happy. And if you like drawing naked girls all day and you like painting naked girls, I can do it. And if you like getting naked on stage, I can do it too. That's all. <laughs>